Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Tonight, we'll see the Brooklyn Nets as they play against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. Hello, everyone. With Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin, thank you. And Kevin Porter Jr. has a new start with the Rockets. His game has been compared to James Harden's. Porter said, being a lefty, creating off the dribble, that extra swag with the step back, I couldn't ask for a better comparison, honestly. He's unguardable. And Porter Jr. should know, guys, he's the youngest ever to drop a 50-point double-double with assists. That was an impressive performance. David, thank you for that story. And a quick look at some of the numbers for Kyrie Irving. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. So the next starting five, the small and power forwards are Harris and Durant. Kyrie Irving is out there with Harden, and it's Aldridge in at the center position. And for the Rockets, Green is out there with Martin. Then there's Kevin Porter, and it's Wall, and it's Shangun in at center. Just sort of looking at the standings here, Greg, midseason, do you think the conference system still holds any relevance? Listen, I think for travel distance, it makes sense to continue to have divisions and conferences. Here we go. But in the perfect world, I think we'd love to see, hey, let's just see them 1 through 16 and determine who's truly the best. Now, here is Harden. What a tremendous game he played against Dallas. Pass to KD. And that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. Ball against Irving. Ball passes to Porter. On the wing, Green. And the three off target. Stolen by Martin. On the wing, Green. A reverse. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Kevin Durant. And the first thing you notice about Green, the next level athleticism. Incredible burst off the dribble. And makes smooth adjustments midair. First one falls for. And one can only imagine what Green will be like great with a little time. Still refining his shot release. Still working on getting others involved. But we haven't seen a two guard into the league with this much potential in quite some time. All free throws good from Green. And the Nets with possession here. Harden the pass to Durant. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Durant's got his second basket of the night. I'm surprised Durant didn't get the call there with all that contact on the shot. It's still a nice finish. Outside, Green. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Brooklyn. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Rockets team. And it was a matchup you thought they would have cruised through. But they actually dropped the game in this series last year. Irving has some of the best handles in the game. I mean, he has the rock on the string. So how can you contain him when he has handles like that? Ball passes to Shengu. And Durant sends it back. In the corner, Harden. 
Offline with his three. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide-open three like that. Ball against Harden, and Wall kicks to Porter. 18 feet out. And he gets it back. And there's the call on Durant. That's foul number two for him. A two fouls, and we're not even out of the first quarter. That's not a good pace to set. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. On the inbound, and finished off by Porter. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And the Nets with possession here. Following the score by Houston. And the jam by Harden. Oh, and when Harden is going strong to the rim, he's looking for the throwdown, ripping the rim down hard on that one. Wall looking for an opening. There's the dish to Green. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Green's got six. And the awareness of Wall, a guy you can count on to find the opening. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Irving against Wall. Here's Griffin. The Rockets pull it in. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And really, the story of the game. They kept chucking from distance. And ultimately, it was their undoing. Disappointing result. Here's Irving. The Rockets making the shot. Here's Harden. Doesn't go that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission. And they have been tough to stop. And he comes up with the deuce. Irving's got his second bucket. Out in the open court. Irving's just too quick, too shifty to contain. For Houston, they've gone 4 of 7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Irving against Wall. With the drive. Yep, that one goes in there. I mean, he has his choice of finishing. Love that he picks the finger roll. Grace before power. Brooklyn trailing. Here's Irving. 23 points his last outing. The three from Harden. The shot, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And finished off by Martin. He is a fantastic athlete for a power four. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for with power. Nets trail by four. Outside Aldridge. Back to Irving. For the three. Shengun with the rebound. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against Dallas. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. And the crowd didn't seem to face them at all. They knew what their game plan was and followed it accordingly. And that one is good. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Harden kicks to Griffin. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the paint. And finished off by Martin. Well, you got to respect the passing skills of Wall. He's so adept at filling out the defense. He knows when to do it. Nets trail by eight. Aldridge up on top. Pass to Griffin. Martin with the block. And they recover it. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And the rejection by Harden. Martin kicks to Green. Just five on the clock. Outside, Wall. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. 
outside, Mark. Inside. Porter, no luck. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that anymore. Wasted no time on that one. Irving's got his third basket of the night right there. Houston leading by five. Outside, Wall. Driving to the basket. And Wall sends it home. Gotta enjoy watching Wall take flight. He's a sensational dunk artist. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Outside Aldridge. Back to Harden. Pass to Griffin. Six on the shot clock. Kept alive. Here's Aldridge. And rattles out the dunk. You know, the layup might have been a better shot for him. The pass to Wall. Martin against Aldridge. Porter kicks to Wall. And the layup's good off the glass. Wall's got six points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. So it's Brooklyn now. They trail by nine points. On the wing, Harden, guarded by Porter. Irving. The Rockets pull it in. Now Porter. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. On the wing, Green. Off target with his three. And that's a foul called on Kenyon Martin. That's his first foul. So for the Nets... Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. That's Mills in for James Harden. Nets trail by nine. Now here's Mills. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. And on the way from Irving for three, Green with the rebound. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Tice. It's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Houston making some changes. David Mwabot comes in for Green. And DJ Augustine subbed in for John Wall. Paul Millsap is checked in for the Nets. Brown comes in for Irving. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. The Rockets again can't hit. Nets trail by nine. Here's Claxton. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Dallas. Yeah, and his energy level in that game was amazing. He did all that work offensively and controlled the boys, too. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Brooklyn's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Up top, Mills. headed by Augustine. Mills can't hit. Rockets leading by nine. Outside, Gordon. It's deflected, and he recovers it. With a three-point line, it's Augustine. Oh, good on that one. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Houston's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Here's Tice. A shot that time, not on target. And the foul on Jayshon Tate. That is his first foul of the game. Nets trail by nine. Well, after winning the championship in Germany now. Tice came to the NBA in 2017 and immediately became an important part of the rotation. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Well, it's been an express lane to the Ram. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about.
Pass to Mills. He wants to get the Millsap and does. And it's in there. You know, Chris, what's great about Tice is his positional versatility. Well, he can play the four or the five. And, you know, he's a great rim runner. He can knock down the three here and there. And defensively, he shows well, even against great quickness. throw good for Millsap. Underrated coming into the league and underestimated. Millsap doesn't have any doubters anymore. Brown against Gordon. To the inside. Here's Tice. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Paul Millsap picks one up. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. Yeah, they're showing some break. muscle take also in the first half Two as shots. well. And, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Tice. Nets trail by eight. Augustine with the steal. Passes it to Nwaba. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Well, he'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket. And he will. And here are the Rockets now. After the basket by Brooklyn. Augustine finds Tate. Some solid defense from Harris. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Six-point game. Now here's Mills. Guarded by Augustine. In the corner, it's Harris. Six to shoot. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And here's Gordon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And stolen by Harris. Here's the break. Goes up. And finished off by Brown. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way. And get a great look. Now, here's Nawaba. Pass to Tate. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Five on the clock. Three-pointer Augustine. A rebound by the Nets. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Harris passes to Millsap. Over Gordon. Millsap misses. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. And close in the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. Paul Millsap picks one up. And really, Gordon gets these calls because how engaged he is. He's consistent at remaining aggressive. Houston shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Free throw good from Eric Gordon. And when he's healthy, Gordon is extremely effective. An incredible scorer who fills up the stat sheet. Aguilar. 
Gordon hits both of them. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Now here's Mills. Not a lot of room. Here's the three. Sinks the three-pointer. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Rockets lead by one. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And one of the game's elite closers, Kyrie Irving, describes his approach down the stretch. Uh, you know, for me, I just try to feel out the game, think about plays that I could run in order to execute. That kind of I've been holding on to, you know, paying attention throughout the whole entire game where either it's attacking a big or attacking my man. You know, Greg, that's reminiscent of quotes we used to hear from Kobe Bryant, how certain moves and possessions set up defenders for the next time. Well, Kyrie definitely has that Mamba mentality. Kobe was a big influence on him, as we all know. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. But it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. Jayshon Tate out there with Daniel Tice. Then there's Gordon. Then it's David Wobble. And it's Augustine in at the point guard position. That's the five for Houston right now. Augustine, that's good. Chris, the NBA cutting back on the foul calls for those unnatural shooting motions. You know, the break check, the pump and jump and all that. Do you like that change? I mean, look, it's already an offensive player's game. It's hard enough to check a guy with the skill set that these players have. So, yeah, the league is throwing a ball to defend him. It's about time. Yeah, and I like what they've been doing down low in the post. Into the lane. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the line for him here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? First free throw is good. Both free throws, good from Augustine second quarter and we're just over a minute in and let's catch up with our sideline reporter David Aldridge thank you Kevin the Houston Rockets are rebuilding that's a hard pivot for a team that until last season was pursuing titles the new front office has been candid it's presented challenges as they look to go young and stack up draft picks they plan to make constant bets on unproven talent as they build for the future Kevin all right David thank you Tice, no good. Nets trail by three. Brown outside. Now the pass to Claxton. From outside, off the mark. You can't hit that one. The teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Man. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That is his first foul of the game.
Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Now here is Augustine, covered by Mills. And Millsap with the focus there defensively, just stretching out to bother the shot. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. To the middle. And that one is stuffed right through. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Gordon. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Pass to Tice. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's number two on him already. A third foul before the half, and he may be grabbing some pie. James Harden. He's checked in for the Nets. Gordon against Harden. Gordon kicks to Porter. Going inside, and he lays it straight in. Porter's got six points. Well, I think playmaking has always been in Gordon's DNA. He loves to score. Don't get me wrong. He also loves to share. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for Brooklyn. Trailing by five. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. That is game three of this four-game trip. And that one's good. Durant. Another in the long line of big man who can train the three. That makes him a very tough couple. Now here's Gordon. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. And good that time. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Mills with it. Six points for him. From deep. And there's KD. That's good on the assist by Mills. Durant's got a pair of triples in the second now for Brooklyn. Now Gordon. Left side, Porter. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. He's got eight. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Nets trail by three. Now here's Millsap. Passes it to Claxton. Kicks to Hart. Launches a three. Unable to get that one. And it's Houston the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was not out to the wing. Nwaba with it. He's picked up by Milson. And it's Nwaba missing. And David Nwaba picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Houston making some changes. Martin's checked in for Jayshon Tate. Green comes in for David Nwaba. And John Wall subbed in for Gordon. And then for Brooklyn, LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Griffin comes in for Paul Milson. And Irving subbed in for Patty Mills. Gordon finds KD. Fires from 18. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Ball against Irving. Ball passes to Porter. Here's Shangun. And stolen by Aldridge. In transition, here come the Nets. That puts them in the lead. KD's got 10 points in the quarter. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Brooklyn. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. The Nets have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Pass to Aldridge. And too long on the shot. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the D playing soft like that. Which puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, PA. He really does put pressure on him. And, guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. Aldridge, no luck. Houston in the lead. Here is Porter. Ten points for him. All with it. Picked up by Aldridge. And Wall kicks to Porter. Martin. The tip in on the offensive rebound. 
Martin's got eight points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Harden the pass to KD. The kick out to Aldridge. Let's it go with a three. Hits the three-point bomb. Aldridge has got the game tied up here for the Nets. Mr. Everything. The rat can score it, pass it, do what you want to do. You can defend at a high level. So fun watching him play. Now here's Porter. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. There's Green with the three. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. And here's Harden. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Irving attacking. And Chen shot. And he lays it up and in. He's got nine. A good decision maker. He looks to make the right plays. Irving's contributions on the glass, they don't go on notes. Outside, wall. Porter passes to Martin. Good work defensively by KD. Brooklyn's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Irving. It's good. With that basket, he's now 5 for 9. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. He takes it in, and it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got four rebounds now tonight. And great to see Wall beat a couple major injuries. Had to attack rehab twice. Doesn't always get enough credit for his dedication to the game. Now here's Griffin. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That one goes in. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. Here is Wall. 17 points for him last game against New Orleans. And for Wall, Greg, has his game changed at all now that he's into his 30s? And he's so much stronger now. Just as liable to go through you than around you better at varying the tempo and controlling the pace of the game. It's his first trip to the line. And all you need to do is see his free throw percentage, guys. 90 for the season to know what kind of year he's having. And that one falls for John Wall. Hey, Chris, at this point in Wall's career, what are you seeing from him in terms of his mindset? He once said, Kevin, you don't get recognition as a point guard if you don't win. Well, he's all about team success right now. Looking for that elusive chip. And so he makes both from the line. As the number one pick in the draft, Wall has always had a lot of pressure on him. And he does everything he can to live up to those expectations. And there's the pass to Irving. And it's off from three-point range. Houston's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And finished off by Porter. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Brooklyn's gotten fond of that three-point shot here in the second quarter. Four of nine. Irving for three. Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. Down low. Wall against Irving. It's Wall with the drop. And it's sent back by KD. Martin against Irving. Martin with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Martin. There's a check in for the Nets.
It's the Nets now. They trail by one. Here's Irving. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Irving's got six in the quarter. The Rockets shooting in an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. All against Irving. All passes to Shengu. There's Porter with the three. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. And the net shooting the ball beautifully in the second quarter. They're at 55% from the field. And the shot goes in. Harden's got the lead up to three now for the Nets. And when Harden sees a clear lane to the hoop, just move out the way. He jumps on it. So relentless in how he exploits open space. Wall attacking. And the slam dunk by Wall. An offensive mastery right there. I mean, great move in the lane and then the flush. But just no way for the D to handle it. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Harden scanning the four. There's the three. Offensive rebound, Nets. A shot by Griffin. Nobody around. And they'll get another chance. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Harris has got seven. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back door. Moving against Wall. Pass to Porter. Here's Shengun. 14 points from him the last game against New Orleans. And not only that, I mean, if you think about it, he dominated the boards. His energy was incredible. He never stopped working. Now here's Irving. Four-point game. A nice shot by Aldridge. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Harden against Porter. Here's Wall. Martin wide open. He fires. Tries again. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Oh, Wall is good at judging where misses are going. He rebounds the ball well for a point guard. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Bruce Brown. He's checked in for the Nets. Mills comes in for James Harden. Finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. Brooklyn leading by three. Brown outside. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Green. Oh, and here we go. Wall's got it. The fast break chance. And that's such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And so Brown will bring it up for the Nets. 29 seconds left to play in the first half. Mills finds Aldridge. On the way, Harris. And the Nets, another three. And you can't give Harris any breathing room to shoot, especially when he's looking to fire the three ball. Brown against Wall. To the inside. And stolen by Harris. Pass break. Here we go. One second left. Again, the Nets for two. Wow. He doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a, you know, intense focus and intensity that the you know, other teams can't match. He's doing whatever it takes to you know, keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a, in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo, so just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Kevin Durant was on fire in the first half. He had 14 points, two block shots, and four rebounds. And from what we saw so far from the Nets, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. Shaq, how'd you think the Rockets were playing? What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box outs, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. The blocks are impressive, no doubt. But his intimidation factor actually prevents certain shots from ever being taken at all. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Nets. The small and power forwards are Harris and Durant. Harden out there with Irving and it's Aldridge in at the five down low. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Outside Irving. Back to Harden. Rocket six. Off the left rim and out. Rockets trail by four. Outside wall. Takes it inside. Over Irving. James Harden with the rebound. The net shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harris has got the lead up to seven now for the Nets. And for Houston, they're shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah. It has to. They need a jolt, GA. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Harden against Porter. It's Durant with the drive. He's capable of scoring from any area. I love when Durant takes charge and dominates like this. All against Durant. Here's Martin. Rebounded by the Nets. Inside, here's Harris, and slam dunk by Harris. Are you kidding me with that pass? Okay, Kyrie, that one made my day. Rockets trail by nine. All with it. He's got 13. Passes it to Shangu. He feeds it to Martin. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And on the season, he's just a shade under 80 from the line. I'll bet he'd like to get that up over that mark. Throw good, Martin. That one misses. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. 
That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Brooklyn leading by eight. Harden outside. Outside Aldridge. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists now tonight. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Speed. The precision of Wall is just electrifying. Exceptional at knifing into the D and forcing them to follow. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. And that one falls for Wall. So John Wall nails both of them. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Irving dishes to Aldrich. Pass to Harris. Nets passing it around. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Once he gets the ball down low, Aldrich has an array of moves. Hard to stop the savvy veteran. Brooklyn shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And the first one drops. And what a tremendous career for LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, so many double-doubles. A rim protector, makes plays for others. Man, the list goes on. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for John Wall. So he gets them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. Outside Gordon. He kicks to Porter. Driving in. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. David Mwaba is checked in for Houston. And the Nets also making a change. Claxton's checked in. Nets leading by 11. Harden outside. The pass to Claxton. In the corner, it's Harris. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Porter. Back to Martin. Out left to the wing. Here's Mwaba. A three-pointer off the mark. And that's a foul called on Kenyon Martin. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early, and just one more will put him over the limit. Paul Millsap is checked in for Joe Harris. Harden with it, and it's Martin picking him up. Out to KD. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his seventh assist in the game. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Nawaba. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Hey, hey, right here. Irving against Gordon. Irving passes to Harden. No good with the triple. Well, that's just a lucky break for the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. And finished off by Porter. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Now, here is Harden. 
Kicks it to Durant. Irving against Gordon. Irving misses. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. Dishes it to Martin. Passes to Nwaba. On the wing, Gordon. Guarded by Harden. Here's Porter. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Nets leading by 10. Harden outside over Porter, and Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Irving. Harden's got his third basket of the night. Oh, that's just the confidence Harden has in himself. I mean, ready to fire as soon as you see it. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Here's Irving following the score by Houston. Here's Claxton, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. Uh, and with Durant, you get it all. Not just a score, but also a dynamite pass. Timeout called the Rockets. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Rockets. Jay Shante comes in for Martin. Rockets trail by 12. Outside Gordon. Tice in the high post. Over Harden and all around the rim that time before dropping in. I mean, like the kick out there, recognizing there's more room outside than inside. For Brooklyn, they've gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Outside Millsap. Pass to Claxton. Porter against Harden. Shoots the three. Offensive rebound. Millsap passes to Claxton. Back to Millsap. It's good. Millsap's got five points so far. And the play succeeds because Millsap comes to the court hungry. He chases down boards and second chance opportunities. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GM. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Harden outside. There's the pass to Irving. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Nets. You want to see how efficient the offense is running? A great stat to look at is points off assist. And they've gotten a ton of assists throughout this game. Couple that with just how well they've shot it from beyond. And they've made this thing look easy. And that one falls for Irving. Well, the former number one overall pick. Tremendous success early in his career. Irving continues to find ways to improve. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Blake Griffin comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Mills in for James Harden. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Rockets trail by 12. Now Gordon. To the middle. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. First one falls. The Nets making a switch here. Browns checked in. He 
hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason. Locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like there's a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. Shots good by Mills. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Pass to Tate. Back to Porter. The three. Comes up empty. Still a respectable 10 for 15. Mills looking it over. The 10 footer. Eric Gordon with the rebound. His interior scoring is one of the things that drives their offense. Don't expect him to miss many of those. He dishes it to Porter. At the top of the key, Tice. Shot clock at five. Waba passes to Gordon. Banked in off the glass. Gordon's got his second bucket of the night. The strong upper body of Gordon, I mean, contact does not affect his shooting motion. Now here's Durant. He's got 19. Passes it to Mills. Back to Durant. Deflects the pass. Shot clock at six. Outside Griffin. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And it's Porter with the ball for Houston. Driving the lane. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. KD's got the ball. Got that one up quick. Mills has got six here in this quarter. And the three-point shot has just been money so far tonight. Tice trying to break free. That's good from Porter on the assist by Gordon. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And here's Mills. He's got 12. Pass to KD. The kick out to Brown. Right wing. Millsap passes to Griffin. Another shot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. In a second round pick out of a mid-major school, Millsap has fought for his place in the NBA, earning that trip to the line. Brooklyn shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So for the Rockets. Green, he's checked in for David Nwaba. Ball comes in for Eric Gordon. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Kevin Porter. Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. Harris comes in for Bruce Brown. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Here's Wall. He's got 15. Here's Tate. And a miss there on the triple. Nets leading by 15. Mills with it. Outside for Griffin. No good on the triple. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Augustine in the corner. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. We're just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. And Brooklyn making a change here. Harden's checked in. There's 154 left in the third quarter. And the wide open shot from Green. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Green's got 11 points. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that thing. 
Mills dishes to Hart. Over wall. And that one hits back iron. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And Wall with the slam. Uh, Wall is a tenacious warrior. He's a high-flying dunking machine, especially off the drive thanks to his leap of the ball. Nets leading by 11. Harden outside. And he converts the layup. He's got eight. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Now here's Wall. He's got 17. And Augustine kicks to Wall. Back to Augustine. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. This is his second trip to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Augustine. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Tice. Ready, 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 ready. 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. Harden's shot is good. Harden's got six here in this quarter. Now look, nobody takes more contact than Harden inside. Nobody's is better at scoring through. Now Augustine, he's got nine. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Tice. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. He's gone three for four from the line. 76% at the strike for him thus far this season. That's good from Tice. Free throws, good from Tice. Here is Harden. He's got 10. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Shows the focus there. Nails the technical. Hey, yo, right here. Harden outside. Yeah, you have to remember how quick Wall is, especially on defense, where he can be a menace. 
And so it's the Brooklyn Nets up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And we'll be back with you shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Control the pace. Get it to the right guy at the right time. These requirements top the list if you're a good point guard. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. All out there with D.J. Augustine. Then there's Daniel Tice. And it's Green. And it's Shingun in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Now here's Mills. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got eight rebounds in this game. The drive by Green. And Green slams it in. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket guy still shaking. And that's leading by 10. Now here's Mills. The pass to Harden. Drives to the hoop. And Harden with the stuff. Oh, you love seeing Harden take off of the slam. He has just unreal hops. And for Houston, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. Pass to Shengun. The shot misses. And Brooklyn will come the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Harris. Buries it down low. And the Nets lead by 14. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. And Green slams it in. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And it's Mills with the ball for the Nets. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Passes it to Harden. Now here's Griffin. Six to shoot over Augustine. That shot by Griffin, no good. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around. Oh, he delivers that with I can't force. Believe it. I cannot believe that. The ball is a blur. His speed is just incredible. He gets to the cup in the bleak of an eye. Nets leading by 10. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Harden. Shengun with the rebound. Shengun's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And the foul on Harden. That is his first foul of the game. And the Rockets making a change here. Martin's checked in. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Nets. And here's Augustine. Here's Shengun. Unloads from 13. Another miss by Houston. Nets have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Rockets trail by 10. Outside Green. Here's Augustine. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And it's D.J. Augustine with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Kevin Porter's checked in for Augustine. And the Nets also making a change. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Blake Griffin. Nets leading by 10. Outside Irving. Harden way outside. Green with the rebound. 
Green's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Yep, that one goes. Some nice wall just goes on a tear. I mean, no matter what you throw at him, he finds a way to adjust and makes plays. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. You know, trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks. During the break, this was what was going on in Steve Nash's huddle. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out of the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Thank you, David. Now here's Porter. Harden missing his last shot. And finished up by Porter. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Now, now that's how you mount a comeback. They're not all the way back, but they're getting close. So it's Brooklyn now. The Rockets making the shot. Trying to end the drought. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Irving. Irving's got six assists here tonight. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the first half, and here in the second, he's been everywhere. Now, here's Wall. Pass to Porter. Back to Wall. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. 23 points for Wall. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Nets leading by six. A 15-footer. The Rockets pull it in. Porter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Wall attacking. Did you see how hard Wall went inside? He welcomes the contact on every play. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Houston. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. Yeah, but also give them credit for the layups they've had tonight after strong drives to the basket. And the first one at the line is good. Durant's check in for Nicholas Claxton. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. Harden bounce pass. Irving finds Harris. Back to Irving. Just five to shoot. KD can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. At the elbow, it's Aldridge. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Terrific at just being aggressive. Aldridge excels at putting pressure on the D and getting the call. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. On offense, here are the Rockets. They're on a 12-4 run. Here's Wall. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. 
Wall is creative and finding ways to get to the line. The D has to be more careful when it comes to guarding. First one falls. And so John Wall nails both of them. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Nets. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And the pass to KD. And the rebound goes to Martin. Rockets trail by four. Here's Green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. First free throw is good. Gordon's checked in for the Rockets. Both free throws good from Green. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. To the paint, Porter with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Martin with the ball. And it's Gordon finishing it off. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of the game. Here is Harden following the score by Houston. Here's Irving. And again, it's the Nets missing. For Houston, they've gone 7-10 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Down low. Stolen by Harden. Let's go. They grab their own miss. Harris outside. Second shot opportunity. The Rockets pull it in. Shingun's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. On its way from Irving for two. Rockets with the rebound. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Brooklyn trailing. Harden outside. Irving kicks to all. No good, unable to end this run. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Green, the pass to Gordon. Back to Green. But Green nailed from three point land. And it's a five point Houston lead. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. That's to Claxton. From deep, Harden. Headshot misses. The Rockets go the other way with it. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Green kicks to Porter. Back to Green. Left side, Martin. Six on the shot clock. No good that time. 
Nets trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Flaxed in the pass to Alden. Here's the triple. Green with the rebound. Green's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And Porter, here we go. The rebound by Harden. Harden's got four rebounds now tonight. Irving misses. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 43% from the floor. And the Rockets making a change here. Walls checked in. Then for the Nets, Blake Griffin comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Mills in for James Harden. Mills with it. Passes it to Irving. Aldridge with it. Now guarded by Porter. And there's the call on Kevin Porter. That's foul number two for him. Daniel Tice is checked in for Kenyon Martin. Harris against Green. Outside Griffin. Four on the clock. To halt the run. It's rebounded by Tice. Tice has got his fourth rebound in this one. And they've had the advantage tonight on the glass. And that's another big one. Looking to get it going. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Shooting two. Free throw. Good, Irving. throws good for Irving I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half I mean he didn't get to the line once in the first half now a timeout called by Houston and they've been very loose with the ball here they haven't been as patient forcing things a bit which has led to turnovers they need to just slow down and relax and now let's present our new balance player of the game John Wall and guys he's been about as close to perfection as you can be with the intensity he's played with has been amazing just no let up and as fired up as he's been he's never let his emotions get out of control Rockets leading by three Kicks it to Porter. The tray. Rebounded by the Nets. Aldridge has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. Shoot two. And the first one drops. And the Nets making a change here. Harden's checked in. Both free throws good from Aldridge. Now a timeout called by Houston. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls.
And it's Porter with the ball for the Houston Rockets. And stolen by Irving. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Ties it up. And this next one could give them the lead. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Outside, Green. Tice inside, guarded by Hart. Tice, no good. Net shooting, 43% from the field. Moving against Tice. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Irving kicks to Aldridge. A second chance effort, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Aldridge has got six in the quarter. A proven commodity. Aldridge wants the ball during these moments. Loves being the guy to take that big shot. All passes to Shengu. And here's Tice. to end the run and easy two points on the way and really at this stage of the game to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks you almost feel like it's a four point swing oh yeah that is a huge play it looked like they had to stop until he came to the rescue Irving dishes to Aldridge that one drops for him Aldridge has got 13 points in the second half and inside the paint Aldridge can be so physical not letting anything get in his way Here's Wall, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. good going one or two from the line and that brings them within two here yeah being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical Arden finds Irving One fifteen left in the fourth quarter of this one Wall passes to Porter and that comes off the assist by John Wall Porter's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. One oh seven left in the fourth quarter. Moving against Wall. Nice shot by Harden. Wide open. Bullseye. He wants the ball. They want him to have the ball. And as usual, he comes through in the clutch. Irving against Wall to the right side. Pass to Green. Let's it go from deep. They get it back. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Now here is Irving. Kicks it to Mills. The pass to Harris on the wing. Irving. Feeds it to Aldridge. Got it! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Timeout called the Rockets. They're behind by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
outside wall. Pass to Porter for three. Buries the triple. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Timeout called the Nets. It's tied at 124. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. Right side Irving. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Come on, Irving is a terrific clutch shooter. He welcomes any chance he can to sink these type of shots. a three-point attempt. I mean, what a huge moment to come through at the line. And it's all about the three right here. That's what they need to tie it. Boy, what a game this has been. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.